Welcome to Linux Excel tutorial. I'm going to explain about how to install Elastix 5. For installing the Elastix 5, first you need to download the Elastix 5 ISO image from Elastix official site. After downloading, make a bootable DVD or pen drive and make it boot. After booting, you will see the following screen. Now you can see your installer boot menu. Now select the graphical install. Now it is loading the installer components from the ISO image. Now we need to configure the network. Now select the configure network manually and click continue. Now enter your IP address and click continue. Now the net mask and continue. You need to enter your gateway here and click continue. And in the name server address you need to enter your DNS name server. Now click continue. Now enter your host name and click continue. Now select your language and click continue. Now your location. Now enter your root password for the Elastix file. Now we need to create the partitions for the Elastix. Now click manual and click continue. Now select your hard disk for the creating the partitions. Now give us to create the empty partition table now the partition table is created now you can create the partitions now select the free space and click continue and now create a new partition now enter the size for the partition i'm going to give 500 mb for the boot partition now select the type of new partition that is primary under the partition to be created from the beginning of the available space and select the mount point as slash boot and click continue and after setting up the partition now click done now select the free space to create the next partition and now i'm going to create the swap partition i'm giving 2 gb for the swap partition and the type of partition is primary now select use as and click swap area and click continue now click done setting up the partition next you can create the root partition you need to give 20 gb for the root partition the mount point is slash now click done setting up the partition now the partitions are created after creating all the partitions now click finish partitioning and write changes to disk now click yes and click continue now it is installing the base system this will take some time installation is completed now it is downloading the updates that are available for the elastic packages this will take some time now the installation is completed now we need to configure the 3cx tool now use the web browser for configuring it now you can see the address that you need to enter for configuring the 3cx the port number 5015 there is three way to install the 3cx you can use the new install 3cx phone system or you can restore the existing backup configuration or you can upload the configuration setup file i'm going to use the first option to create a new install of 3cx phone system for getting the license free you need to use the following link now enter your name and other information now enter your email now tick this and now click submit and download now you can see the download options for the 3cx and you can see the you can check your mail address for license key details now go to your mail and you can see the mail now click to verify the email address and now the license key has been sent use this license key to install the 3cx now paste this license key and click next now enter your username and password for login into the 3cx management console now click next enter your public ip and choose the type of public ip you are using and now configure the fqdn that is fully qualified domain name enter your name and select your 3cx domain and click next now select the network adapter now it is creating the fqdn and the certificates then this will take some time now enter your http and https ports 
now click finish now it is creating the pbx this will take some time now we can see the 3cx installation is completed now to login you can use the following credentials now click this following url to login now enter your username it is user1 and the password for the user select your language and click login now you need to do the basic setup in the 3cx now select the extension length and click next then enter your admin email now click next and here you can configure your mail server now select your country and your time zone and click next create an operator extension and three digit and the operator and voice mail extension now enter your first name the email now click next now select your countries that the call can be made to now click next now select your language to play the system prompt now click next run for registration you can enter your company name now click finish now we can see the 3cx is successfully configured in this video we saw how to install elastics 5 we can see more about elastics in the next video thank you for watching